Hey guys, and welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create this famous slide um, intro effect on CapCut PC. So I'm just going to select this and crop this one by one. So I'm just going to use, like, for instance, this blue part, and then I'm just going to copy and paste that, and then I'm going to only use this part, and then again, copy and paste that. And then I'm also going to just need to use this part, like this color. And I'm just going to move it to the right and this one to the left. And as you can see, um, it's a little bit bigger like on the middle. So I'm just going to find one that works for me, um, like the aspect ratio that works the best. So let me just find it. If not, just like make the crop smaller. Okay, maybe this one's the best, I think. Um, but you can use the one by one as like aspect ratio if you'd like to. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is on the first one, which is the blue one, you're going to select mask and you're going to select split. And I am going to make this go down so this is already perfect. And I'm also going to feather it just a little bit, like so. Oops, okay. I need to get a little bit too much, like here. And then I'm going to add in keyframes. So add a keyframe here and slide it all the way up here. And then, like, till the end you're going to add another keyframe and you're going to want to drag the mask now it's a little bit harder because the mask is up there so you can use the position one here but I'm just going to go back to the first keyframe and just have it so I still can see the line so I can drag it down at the end so here I'm going to add a keyframe and I'm just going to select that line and drag it all the way down here and then for the second one, I'm going to basically do the same thing, but I am going to rotate it like so. And I'm just going to feather it out again, add a keyframe, drag it down, and add a keyframe at the end, and drag it up. And you are going to do the same thing with the green one, but you're going to do the same thing with like the blue one. So split, feather it out, add a keyframe, move it all the way up, and at the end you are going to move it all the way down, like so. Now once you are done with these three, it is better if you put it all the way up but I couldn't get the keyframe like the mask okay now you're going to get your character or your logo or whatever I do have to crop this again because it is in like one picture wait let me use the split it's a little bit better but you don't have to do this if your logos are separated so Just going to scale it down to around 50%. Hold on, where did this mask go? Okay, there you go. And then for this one, you are going to select, um, again, a keyframe. Um, add a keyframe here at the beginning and move it all the way so you can't see it. And then at the end, you want to see it. So add a keyframe and drag it down. If you can't, just use the position. I think it's Y or is it X? Oh, just use that okay oh just put it to zero then in Y I think yeah on Y you're just going to set it to zero if it's not 
in the middle you're just going to want to position it again correctly like here for instance and then drag it upwards and then you can add in the keyframe here put it to zero let me just test it out okay that looks good enough and you're also going to add in a fade in animation so go to animation and fade in and then you are just going to add in the you're going to do just do the same thing to these two um, but I'm just going to pause and fast forward because it's going to take a lot of time if I do it with you guys so I'll just be right back okay and I'm back with all three and this is what it should look like at the end I forgot to mention don't forget your fade in duration is um, till the end like of the video but this is what it should look like at the end I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys don't forget to like comment share and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer them all for you guys if you found this video helpful please click the thanks button above the description box down below thank you so much for watching bye